And welcome to this special review video. This is Aaron here. And uh, basically this, one, this video is uh, made because over the summer uh, there was a spicy chocolate war going on between two companies, Peppermaster and Madison Chocolatiers West. Peppermaster is more of the, we're going to do peppery sauces and sell peppers of that kind of thing. Whereas Madison Chocolatiers West, as the name implies, they do the chocolates. And, well, they each came up with a spicy chocolate and uh, they had six judges uh, judging the whole thing, four criteria uh, to uh, see what the scores would be. And, uh, well, I'm, I wasn't one of the six judges, but I figured, well, I'll pony up some money, I'll buy the chocolates, and I'll, I'll see for myself. So, uh, I have the Madison Chocolatiers West P-Bomb here with me right now. I'm still waiting on the uh, Scorpion chocolates from Peppermaster, but they should be in in a few days. Uh, this video is going to be edited together, so I'm going to, um, it'll look like, it'll just be instantaneous, just cut to the next one, but uh, anyway, I'm going to, uh, out of fairness for Madison, do the Madison chocolate right now, I'm going to taste it right now. Four criteria, as I said, presentation, slash appearance, and then the second one is the taste of the chocolate. Third is the heat level, and four is the overall experience and the filling of the chocolate itself. So this is the P-Bomb right here. This is the P-Bomb, as you can see. Uh, it basically comes in a little sleeve, a little packaging here, and a little simple box. Uh, very simple presentation, really nice. A little Szechuan button flower on the top, which uh, the people at Madison said to try first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the, the button, the button flower first on top, and then I'm going to uh, eat a little bite of the chocolate, and then a bite of the, you know, bite into the chocolate so I can get the filling aspect. All right, let's pick one here. I think this one will be the nicest one. See the chocolate a little further up close. So I'll take a bite of the button flower now. A little minty. It kind of lingers somehow. It's not hot, but certainly, uh, certainly unique. Taking a bite of the um, of the chocolate, and it's got some kick already. I think it's got a little bit of the inside as well but that's got some firepower behind it. Whatever pepper blend they're using, it's got some, it's got some real kick, it's some real power. Really well made, nice dark chocolate. Um, I really enjoy this. I'm going to go right down the scores and come right back and uh, go with Peppermaster uh, and try their chocolate. See you in a bit. Alright, so it's been about a week. I finally got the Scorpion chocolate sent from Peppermaster. Uh, they mentioned that there could be issues with the shipping and if you assume the risk then we'll ship it. I said, sure, whatever, just ship it. and. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like uh, something did happen in the shipping a little bit. There's a almost like a syrupy sort of thing on the corner here. Uh, I'm not going to hold it against them because it looks like the chocolates all came in intact. But um, you know, I smell it. And it, it smells like the almost like the pectin or whatever. That's some sugary thing just formed in the corner. But uh, we'll get these open and uh, we're going to try them out shortly. So here they are. Uh, we got the box open, 
as you can see, not the most aesthetically looking chocolates ever, but uh, as you, they uh, got stuck here to the top, which means that there was some sort of issue on possible melting. I don't know what the humidity was like in places that it's been to. It was shipped UPS ground, so it took a few days. But um, I'm just going to take one of these right now. I'm just going to eat, eat one of them. Alright, there it is. So, they do look rather, rather old. Just because they've been, you know, the postal service for a few days. But, uh, we'll see how they taste. I believe they said there's uh, fresh nagas in here and maybe some scorpion chilies. It certainly got some kick. It's got some kick. Um, I'd say not bad. Um, I'm going to tally the results real fast. So I'll be right back with uh, the results. Alright, got the results right here. I'm um, not going to waste too much time, just going to really cut right to the chase. But a great job by both companies. I really have to say that first of all. Great job by both companies. Um, you know, I love chocolate in general and I love spicy chocolate. So um, you've definitely uh, got something here for both of you guys. Uh, scores, frankly, I'm going to just say it right now, it wasn't close. Uh, we're going to start off with the presentation and appearance. Now the P-Bomb, it was packed very well. You, you kind of remember it had a, it was really one of the sleeve sort of things where you just slip out the tray deal and you get your chocolate. I like that. It's packed very nicely in the in the packaging that it, that it came uh, that it came in through the postal service. So no no issues there. Uh, the Szechuan button flower, I really really like that. Um, had a little bit of a mintiness to it. Uh, maybe expecting a little bit more of a blast, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I gave the presentation and appearance a 4 for the P-Bomb. The Scorpion Chocolate, I mean, you know, things happen, and I guess it really didn't help that it took about 7 days or so to get here. So, uh, it's the appearance certainly suffered uh, in, in transit. Normally I would have given that chocolate a one uh, because of how it looked and it definitely looked old and certainly not really taken care of with um, I, ho I was hoping they would give like a dry ice sort of thing to kind of help preserve uh, help preserve the chocolate a bit and keep it from really melting but uh, you know out of really out of leeway I gave it a two uh, for that. The chocolate itself, uh, the pea bomb, I, it was dark chocolate, I really liked this. Uh, very well made. I gave it a 4. And uh, the scorpion chocolate from Peppermaster, again, it, it had a nice, uh, a nice little vanilla flavoring to it in there, in that chocolate. I really like that aspect. And, you know, the chocolate, as far as the taste of the chocolate goes, I mean, I gave that a 4 as well can't really go wrong on the chocolate part. The heat is really where uh, it stood out for me. The pea bomb, I still remember the heat of the pea bomb, and it's been a week. Uh, easily the spiciest chocolate I've had. And I've not had very many spicy chocolates, but this was by far the spiciest, and people really have to step it up to, to uh, match or surpass the heat from the pea bomb. I gave it a 5 just because of that. I got a little bit of eye sweats on, on the pea bomb and it's, I wrote down on my notes it's not for beginners or the timid. So uh, that's certainly a little compliment right there. The scorpion chocolate it had a little bit of heat but I mean it, I could easily have popped all six in my mouth at that particular time and not really flinched. Uh, I gave it a 2 just because of that. Overall, uh, for the pea bomb, uh, the filling was great. I really enjoyed the filling. Uh, nice uh, whitish contrast with the with the chocolatey outside, and then you can see the peppers in there as well, which you know, minced the peppers in there, which I thought was really nice. 
And I did have a little bit of an ordering issue trying to order them online, but just call the customer service and you're actually talking with the, the owners. I was talking with Renee, one of the owners, and uh, great customer service, really nice people to talk with. Uh, Renee and Ricky, both great people. Um, overall, I give them a five for the experience. Um, Peppermaster, uh, again, you know, I was hoping they would, you know, maybe there was an option to ship it faster, but then again, the shipping would have cost even more of a, an arm and a leg on that one. Um, I love the filling. That, that really stood out to me. Um, had a, lot, a little bit of a fruitiness to it in that filling. And the peppers were really well done. I think they really, uh, they really uh, are masters when dealing with peppers, that's for sure. I gave them a three for overall for the, for the Pepper Master Scorpion Chocolate. So the final score, uh, 18 to 11 P-Bomb, uh, Madison Chocolatiers is the winner. Uh, thank you again for um, basically sitting through all of this. And uh, I look forward to, to trying more of these chocolates in the future. Catch you guys later.